guys and welcome to Tigoni. This is going to be such an exciting video because I really want to focus on highlighting why you should choose fine urban construction and interiors to take your project from the ground up. Here we have a shell. Like right behind me, you can see we're going to go through the tour. We have a shell of a building there that we are doing a complete facelift. When we first got here, the client was like, okay, I have this structure. I don't feel like it's bringing me any joy. I want you guys to take it completely down and redo it. And although we have the capabilities, another thing that fine urban construction and interiors really takes into consideration is trying to save our clients some coin. You know, something like demolishing and then erecting a whole new shell is going to be very, very costly. So we sat down, thought about it, and then communicated with the client and came up with the idea of doing a facelift now this is not going to be like an ordinary facelift that you see we completely want to modernize this house and also put in some new rooms you'll be able to see all those things as i go through because i will be very keen to point out every last detail that we're doing because this is going to be quite unique and since we're in tagone it has such lovely outdoor spaces i'm telling you guys the air feels so fresh it's so breezy there's so much sunlight and some of these these are some of the things we're actually going to be really taking into consideration in the design i'll be showing you how all those elements these natural elements that are all around us are going to play a very active role in the final design of the shell with that said i think the best way to go about this is actually go up to the house so i can tell you every single detail the inside we have to make sure that we are we're presenting what we're going to do inside on the exterior and there's so many changes that we want to make because there's structural changes that are actually going to affect the rooms inside the different sizes so what are we intending to do on this end we want to have a whole different structure on top of a bedroom that's over there that you'll be hearing more about as I go through the project. We want to clear out that entire area. We have that lip that's sticking out. We want to take that down and smooth out all those corners that just seem unnecessary. So by extending some of those rooms, we're going to have a much cleaner finish, cleaner lines, and the structure is going to feel more modern. That's the key word for this project is just modernizing the entire structure from from the outside to the inside. Another major thing is on this end, we are also doing some extensions, which again, I'll be going more into detail about once we're on the inside. So you can fully get a visual of what I'm talking about, because if I start going on about it right now, you can't really get an idea, but you'll see it later. On this end, we're also going to be including a pergola. We want to create an outdoor seating area because one of the main things that we are really, really focusing on on this project is the factor of making the most out of the views or the natural environment that this house actually has. So that's why we want to include an outdoor seating area where they could come out and really fully be outdoors and enjoy it because we've created other opportunities to enjoy the view inside but also you want something on the ground where the family could come outside enjoy the sun on their skin and really have a fantastic view of the natural features all around them so over there definitely watch out for what we're going to do with that said you have a brief overview of what this exterior is going to look like let's go closer there's so much more we want to do for the entrance so let's go closer to those pillars What makes a bigger impression than the main entrance of your house? It's basically the thing that really, really gives you the best impression of what to expect on the inside. So being that we really want to modernize this space and make a huge impact immediately, we're definitely going to have to do a lot to change up this entrance. You can see right now, it kind of feels a bit more aged just because there's many pillars at the entrance we have the two at the bottom and we have the two at the top but in order to create something that feels more modern we do definitely want to get rid of those pillars now that will bring in issues if you do not think about things properly and that is another highlight of why fine urban construction and interiors is ideal in the part of construction because we're able to say we want these pillars gone but we have to understand 
here for a reason. They are supporting this balcony up here. So what will we do? So the main thing we want to do in order to make sure the modern vision that we have for this house is that we want to extend the walls from the foyer, which is this section here that you can see, outward a bit. That will do two things. It will increase the space of the foyer while also providing more support for this. What is now going to be a floating balcony? Like that is something that is so modern, so classy, and is definitely going to create something that looks so seamless at the front of the house. You can imagine once all these pillars are gone, it's going to be much less action to the eye when you come in the walls are going to look smoother the entire face of the house is just going to look so much more pleasant that way we've created more space we have a very modern feature introduced into the house and an overall structure just, that just looks amazing but we're not just going to leave it blank because it might feel a bit boring to just uh, have a floating balcony it might be you know like uh, something that just seems unsupported by any other design element so we are going to include cladding on this section here that's going to go all the way up and join these two sections so once all that is done we will have achieved something that feels really really modern much as we were trying to avoid uh, demolishing the entire structure of course there is Parts of it that we really did have to take down so that we can create the vision that we had. I have mentioned that we want to create opportunities for the client to fully enjoy the nature that surrounds this beautiful uh, part of Kenya. So we definitely wanted the foyer to be one of those sections. So where I'm standing here, we had a wall that had two windows and an entrance and that definitely ages a house. Like it's so standard and giving it a facelift if really there was no two ways about it we had to take down that wall and now what we're going to do is have the entrance moved to a section somewhere that's over here to the side because on this end of the wall we want to create a feature wall like uh, have a fireplace here maybe have the TV wall here or even have the fireplace and a decorative feature I want to hear you guys ideas like do you feel like it would be better to have the TV in this section or just have like a decorative feature above the fireplace so that is the idea we wanted to create an opportunity to be able to look out and see the gorgeous view that I am currently looking at standing here. So this being the foyer, having the fireplace there, obviously we're going to create uh, spaces where people can actually sit down and be able to enjoy the space without, you know, feeling like we've come in and shifted things around and, you know, people cannot use the space. We've now taken the space and made it completely so there's going to be seating all around. We are really going to think about the layout and how we want everyone to really be able to enjoy. If we were to have the TV wall over there, of course the seating arrangement really, really matters because we have to make sure that no matter where you're sitting, you're able to see the TV comfortably. We were thinking that having the TV wall on that section, the light might interfere. I did say we want to play around with those natural features, a natural light being one of the main features but you really have to be smart about you know how that could interfere with the placement of certain things so we were trying to avoid that before I can leave the foyer we have a window over here now you might be wondering why it's because there's going to be some major reconstruction when it comes to this section we want to extend this window all the way to the top once we go upstairs i'll show you how it's going to to look like but that is just another way of implementing that modern feel like having a very you know tall window that connects the bottom floor to the top floor it's just going to be amazing and you know definitely find up in construction and we're going that it looks seamless, that we're going to, going to look seamless at the end. And that's the mark of good work, and that's exactly what we do. So as you keep walking into the project, you now land in the living room. 
So here we have the living room and you can see there is ample room here. I love that everything is so open. You can tell that we've done a bit of curving out when you came to the wall. We kinda, you can tell by the markings of the floor actually. Guys, you can look out for things like this to kind of show you exactly how much work we've done in terms of uh, transforming the flow of the house or you know just how much work we put in in terms of the construction part of our name. So we have ample space here. It's something that's similar to the foyer. I love the line of sight from here. And you know, it's kind of excellent when you can feel what the designer's ideas were with before they even tell you. Because when I'm standing here, I'm like, I can see exactly what the thought process was because we do want to make the most out of that view. So even though you're able to enjoy that at the foyer, you also want to be able to enjoy it from here. And now everything is coming together with the TV wall potentially being that it's just the perfect line of sight. You know, um, now let me get into the plans for the living room. So seeing that we have ample room here, we also want to be able to have a lot of people sitting here. So here we have the capability of having like a three seat over there and a three seat over here, maybe a two seat over there. And then on this wall, this is not going to remain as it is. There's something so exciting that we want to do for the exterior part of this section. We want to open it up, make hit a bigger opening on this wall but then we don't want people to be able to access the outside area through here we just want to open it up so it's like a picture frame for what we're going to put there I'm going to tell you more about that when once we go around but we're going to open it up and then add in like bulletproof glass to just have that seamless finish but still retain that security. So overall, just standing here, I do feel those elements coming in. It's quite breezy, it's very open, there's so much natural light coming in. And I'll keep pointing out things like that because it is going to be one of the main features of this transformation. I know a lot of the times I talk, talk about the physical thing that we're putting in, you know, the walls and all the decorative features, but when you want nature to play a vital role into your house that is like some next level consideration that you really have to put in and the fact that you know for fine urban construction and interiors we're able to be like you have such great views let's make the most out of it and then coming up with ideas I really do have to showcase that because I don't feel like I would have done this project justice if I'm not able to point those things out so we can head on over to the next side section that I was showing you guys while we were in the living room. This is the window that we're going to be extending and the purpose of this space is going to be very, very special. It's going to play a very vital role in that idea of incorporating nature and light and all the elements that are uh, around here into the design because here we're going to include a fountain. You know, a water fountain is something that brings so much peace, so much calm and the fact that we want to have it here is so the people in the living, the living room can enjoy it but also the people who are going to be using this corridor at any moment because we're going to close it off but by not having like a solid wall we're going to have a sliding door that is going to be glass so that you still have that you know view and also have that natural light flowing into every crevice of this house so you can have that vision of being in the living room having that natural light having that fountain there and of course we are going to include seating so they can make the most out of it. We want to create places that are pleasant to look at, but also places where you can fully enjoy and go sit there, enjoy the sun, have plants all around you, and just really feel like you have a piece of nature in your home. Now, over here on this side, we are in the process of constructing a kitchen. We have allocated some space. You can see we're in the process of digging up and creating that foundation. And you might think it's a bit odd having these two spaces next to each other, but really, from what I've heard and how we're planning to separate these spaces, it really does make a lot of sense. There will be a wall separating the two sections, so the kitchen is going to be completely private. You don't have to worry about it. But but since that wall is going to be serving both spaces, 
because we want to make it something that's visually pleasing for anyone that's using this section because at the end of the day we want to have it be somewhere you can relax and completely forget about you know there's a kitchen right next to you so on this end we are go going to create a feature wall on that wall that separates the two spaces so think of you know having plants that grow up the wall I'm sure there's a technical word for that but I I can't think of it right now but the you know having the plants that will grow up and having this entire section actually is not going to be closed off by anything at the top. So we'll have that light coming in. You're going to have that nature. You're going to have the seeds, the water. Really, it's just going to be so calming. And another really, really smart thing I have to point out about this section is the fact that we saw an opportunity to have something like that in this uh, property. and. We kind of, you know, kill two birds with one stone because right beneath the section is where the septic tank was. So instead of just leaving the space to go to waste, and of course we weren't going to have the kitchen on top of the septic tank, were we? We thought have it be a seating area that people can enjoy, and that way the client doesn't have to move their septic tank because again, that's going to be extra cost. And what we're trying to do here is save the client as much money as possible while still creating a space that they're really full going to enjoy so that's definitely two birds one stone down we have the septic tank we have the seating area it's going to be gorgeous and then over here in the kitchen I think you can tell by now this is going to be a very uh, good sized kitchen we're going to have a lot of cabinetry there's going to be a lot of room for cabinetry we'll have you know our way when it comes to planning out the layout there's going to be enough room for an island so once that gets going we'll definitely be here to see how things are progressing so i can tell you guys more about how we are going to you know transform this space so you might be thinking okay we have the entrance for the seating area here where's the entrance for the kitchen actually going to be so that was actually quite tricky we've decided to close off this area the doorway is actually going to be over here so this is the section where the doorway to the kitchen is going to be so that we definitely have that separation now that created a challenge because over here we do want to create a laundry room so this might cause an interference you can't have a do doorway from the laundry that leads directly into the kitchen of course that's not hygienic and those two spaces should never be interacting with so the idea that the designer was able to come up with was to push that wall that way. So I was talking about how, you know, you, we don't want to construct over the existing foundation of the house. So we can't extend, extend it this way, but we can extend it that way, which is exactly what we're going to do. That way, the laundry room has more space. We're able to fit it with everything that need. Think dryer, washing machine, all, enough lighting, just having a bit of cabinetry. And I'll tell you why it makes sense to have that here, because we have actually thought about the number of people who are going to be using this house. So you might be thinking big house many rooms very small laundry room but we did consider that you'll be seeing more about that upstairs so we're going to extend that we have enough room for the laundry we have the corridor and then we also have the entrance to the kitchen that's not going to interfere with the seating area so the layout just feels like it makes so much sense but I want to hear from you guys what do you think so far about how I've talked about the the flow of the house and the layout that we've thought of let me know if you feel like there's places we can tweak and of course Course, this is at the end of the day still an interior design company. I've talked a lot about construction but we are going to beautify this end of it because this entire corridor is going to be visible to whoever is using it so we are going to have something that's very striking on the wall there like a wall hanging that's going to be highlighted by a spotlight but it's just going to be another point in the house that's going to be visually interesting you don't create these spaces and then leave them blank so overall I think this section of the house sounds great great to me so we can go to the other end and I'll tell you more about what we're doing there and all the plans we have. going 
going to be a number of major changes that are going to happen in this room that's really going to play a very huge role in how the exterior of the house looks and also because we have such huge plans I've talked about how there's so many different rooms that we're including in this property and this is one of the rooms that also is going to have something added on top of it literally on top of it that is going to you know just make uh, the house more enjoyable for the owner just create more opportunities to enjoy the view I feel like that should be the title of this video opportunities creating opportunities opportunities for the clients to enjoy the view of their property so anyway the major thing we want to do is completely block out this wall so get rid of the window get rid of the door and you might be gasping right now thinking why would you do that you wanted the natural light to come in and you wanted to have those elements and yes yes we did and that's why we're confident that we can do that and still have different windows in this room it has multiple windows that's still going to provide enough light into this bedroom now the main point of actually closing that off is because we are going to have a staircase on the exterior leading up to the room that I'm not going to talk much about now that's going to be up there we wanted to create security and privacy and make that section completely private so I'll tell you more about that once we go upstairs but that is going to be a huge chunk of work in terms of construction that we are going to be doing to make sure that the end product that we want is the end product that we do get now let's go to something that is major and I really enjoy talking about at all projects I tend to go on and on about this particular feature but let's get to it and show you what we're gonna do for this house so we are back to this space that I walked past I know I didn't touch much on it but this is actually going to be the area where we completely reconstruct the staircase if you want a modern house you should think about the type of staircase that you want. I know having a simple staircase like this can look quite modern, but you wanna add a bit of pizzazz and really show off those design elements and the creativity of the designer. And I think things like this are a great opportunity in showing how someone can show off their creativity as well as add in something that, you know, just adds that extra element where, you know, people will visually appreciate. So what, the designer came up with is the idea not just having a boring old staircase but having a spiral staircase you have seen us do this on some of our projects if you've been watching long enough and you know how well we execute the reconstruction of staircases so you just know that once we've put in the tiles and the lights and everything in fact let me not even go that far just the integrity of the steps themselves once we reconstruct it will just simply speak for itself. So we are going to have a spiral staircase that's going to go all the way up and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. And another thing I want to talk about a bit, like I don't tend to notice these things because I guess I just don't have the eye for it, but I heard that there's a lot of walls that are going to need straightening out a wall like this. Apparently, if you stand at a certain angle, you can see that it's just not well constructed. So of course, Course, we're going to be taking care of that before we go any further and again it's another element of construction that fine urban interiors <laughs> need to get used to say fine urban construction interiors is definitely going to take care of to make sure that everything is top tier once we're done with uh, the process of beautifying and things like that so with that said let's use the current staircase and head on up Guys, there's so many exciting things that are going on on this floor. I don't know how I'm gonna get through it. Sorry, you all know how terrified I get about walking upstairs that just have no relic, but I made it. Anyway, we have that large window, so of course, whatever we're going to do here, let me not say whatever, the amazing, incredible, spectacular work we are going to do with that staircase is going to be well lit so that at every point, the client and everybody that's going to be using this house are fully going to enjoy it and again it's another part of bringing nature into the house by creating that light I said we are playing around with light and water and living living plants not fake plants so of course when I see things like this I get so much joy because I can see the vision I can see how well lit this staircase is going to be and how that light is going to be pouring into the house and just create 
creating like a warm feel. So from here, from the top of the stairs to my left is where we are going to have a family deck. That's where our clients are going to be able to come, sit down with their families in a space that feels like it's an outdoor, indoor experience. And again, I'll keep saying this, I think this is the perfect place for you to get a really good view of what I'm looking at. You should pan around and just show people what this actually looks like. It is incredible. And that is why when we first came here, we made it a point. We were like, guys, you know, this is not, we're not in the middle of the city. Like a lot of us live in the middle of the city. So when we get a client who is in a place that has so much nature, so much sunlight, such a great breeze, we're like, um, yeah, we're definitely going to want to use those elements. We're definitely going to want to make the most out of it for you and your family. And this was a great opportunity for us to do that. I mentioned in the room downstairs that we will be closing off uh, some windows there and a door and building up this section because again, here we're going to have a family decor that we want to feel private and we don't want it to be a place where you can actually access from any other part of the house. We want to create a staircase that's going to lead from down there directly up here so it kind of feels like you're really away from everything. I know it's something as simple as having multiple accesses to a place that really can make it feel more public and you don't really feel like you're away from everything but the simple idea of having a staircase leading up to it the entire experience will just make you feel like you're going somewhere private where you can relax and just you know have everything out of your mind and relax and enjoy this incredible view and of course with the family deck we're not going to leave it blank. We're not just going to put seats and be like, Kaya and Apple, enjoy the view. <laughs> we really want them to be you know, able to fully interact with the space. So we will be adding in things like a bar section, having in a barbecue section, because again, we want it to be really, really functional. So including things like that will create the opportunity for the family to be like, let's go have dinner outside. Let's do a barbecue. We have an entire section where we can do that and just gather and enjoy each other's company with all that rambling gone we can now go back into the house because this floor has a number of rooms that I really want to get into on this floor we have a number of different types of rooms we have multiple bedrooms but we really had to think of the layout and figure out which spaces made sense to have bedrooms and which ones really didn't and I will be going more into detail about that but I want to start with what is probably <laughs> that's just so noisy what is probably the biggest bedroom on this floor? The entrance to this bedroom will exist on this end of things. So this will be the main floor of the bedroom. And with the current layout of the windows, it kind of seems like, so where do you place the headboard and what do you do? We are still in the process of really shifting things around to fit the vision. So as I'm walking around and talking, I need you guys to keep that in mind. Fine urban construction and interiors, does tend to like to keep the work going. So once we figured out this section, this is what we, what we want to do, we start working on it immediately. And as we go throughout and we figure out, okay, for this section, this is what we want to do. So here we have already made the decision that we will be completely reshaping the windows and creating a wall here that looks more symmetrical. That way we have the perfect space in between those windows to have have a headboard so the bed will be on this end and you can see it is a very big size bedroom actually it's not the biggest in the house but it is quite large again we're going to have a lot of light and you know the person will get to enjoy a, a beautiful view of what's down there we'll go we'll go and talk about that once we go outside but then it also has room for an ensuite there's a theme we're going to 
notice as we go throughout, we all know that nowadays when people are building their dream homes, they do make sure that everybody has their private bathroom. And that was a bit of a challenge when it came to this floor and the rooms that were up here. We're actually constructing a whole new bedroom on this floor, which I'll be showing you later. But in this bedroom, you can kind of see on the floor with the lines of demarcation where we intend to you know, have the bathroom. Of course, we have to consider ventilation and everything. So overall, this bedroom, the layout has been figured out. We already have that vision. All that's left to do is now start taking those steps to make sure that everything comes together and work, works well together. Now, all, the opposite end, you might be thinking, oh yeah, I guess um, you guys are gonna have another bedroom. No, we're not gonna have another bedroom on this <laughs> side because this is another place where that sense of, oh my God, we want you to enjoy your views comes in yet again. We saw the balcony that exists on this side and it's the perfect place to look out. It's such a great vantage point. Like it's good to have um, the views from the bottom but the views from the top just hit different and we thought this would be the perfect vantage point and if you guys can kind of connect it is right below below this is where we have the living room and of course we're going to be getting rid of these pillars so this is going to be the floating balcony and once it's complete it's just going to have a more seamless view you can imagine if there's we don't have those pillars obstructing that view it's just going to be great so this is going to be a family room the importance of having a family room in your home it just creates more opportunity to bring people together you know something like the living room downstairs is maybe one of those places where you just happen to be while you're waiting to have dinner or you know you just came home and you're gonna sit for a minute but family rooms feel more intentional like you'll decide with your family we want to spend time together so let's go up to the family room enjoy a good show and just spend time together that's at least to me that's why I view it like you know the difference between having a living room and a family room so of course we're going to deck it out to make sure that every time the family wants to come in here and enjoy each other's company they're very very comfortable and again they get to have the use of that balcony and that view and just make the most out of the space so for this section, I thought it was such a great idea to introduce another member of the Fine Urban Construction and Interiors team. This is Brigetta. She is an interior designer for uh, Fine Urban. And she'll be walking us through this section because I feel like there's so many details. I feel like there's so much she can add to the explanation of exactly what we're doing here and how it impacts the overall design of this project. So yeah. tell us, what's going going to be happening up here. So up here with the modifications that we discussed uh, mm -hmm. previously about what's going to be happening on the ground floor, mm. we're going to be expanding uh, the bedrooms that are going to be built and constructed up here, we're yes. going to be expanding it, mirroring whatever modification and structural uh, construction that will be going down uh, downstairs, yes. together with the kitchen so mm. that we have a uh, big and huge uh, bedroom over here yes. instead of the existing area mm -hmm. which is too small mm -hmm. so we have a big uh, bedroom with its end suit mm -hmm. and also another bedroom here with its end suit too. yes and then also overlooking the beautiful fountain yeah which is going to be i think the center of the home uh, center architectural uh piece and uh, mm -hmm. something very nice for the home. It's a fountain that's going to be here. Yeah. So it's going to be overlooking that and having a very good view for the fountain mm. and at the moment and also yes. the view. With the the view. Forest in Tigoni. Yes, yes. I was, I was uh, speaking earlier about how right below the section we have a laundry area that was a bit small so we were extending it mm. and by extending down there of course we're not going to leave up here alone. We yeah. also want to extend that. Mm -hmm. As you said, we have that ensuite. I heard something about skylights in the bathrooms. What's that about? <laughs> yeah, so for this specific project, mm -hmm. we're looking into the natural uh, 
uh, elements that we have. One of them is the sun. Yes. So the skylight can really enhance the daylight yes. and uh, minimize on the consumption mm. of uh, energy in the home. Yeah, the yeah. Green, mm. and the green. Yes. So we're going to have a design, incorporate skylight in the design of the end suit mm -hmm. in such a way in which the lighting, how it will light the end suit mm -hmm. will be very much a uh, I will invigorate the greens and the mm. uh, vegetation that will be inside the bathroom. Yeah. So that is a concept that we are looking at mm -hmm. in terms of going green mm -hmm. and uh, biophilic architecture within this uh, particular project. Yeah. And of course the expansion has to mirror on top because mm -hmm. that also affects the exterior of the house yeah. and how it looks like. Yeah. So whatever we do downstairs, we have to look at how mm -hmm. we can design the upstairs to also enhance Fit. the exterior. Yeah. Of the house. Yeah. And thank you very much. Thank for being so here with us and giving us this information it's always great to be able to bounce off someone who also has like de detailed information yeah, sure. so guys i really hope you enjoyed her input because i think it's very val very valuable to have an interior designer who can really come in here and tell us more about you know the thought process behind some of these things and not just the embellishments and thanks thanks very much just pleasure <laughs> has been such an incredible tour. I have personally never come to the Tigoni. I've never come to Tigoni before and this was an opportunity for me to come and actually do my job and enjoy taking you guys around. This project is going to be so exciting for me personally and I hope you guys are excited as well. There's so much that is going to be new and exciting and interesting that Fine Urban Construction and Interiors is doing for this particular project we've talked about going green which is a factor that I am especially considering as I'm growing older and thinking of all the things that I would want in my uh, future home when I'm building and being able to come here on these sites and be able to talk about these things and also realizing the minute changes to a structure that could really determine how small a bathroom is or how much use you can get out of the space is just so interesting and this really exemplifies that and also I think the most incredible thing I can say for me was being able to see fine urban construction and interiors really putting its best foot forward like it always does when it came to cost saving for the client. I've talked about several things here that we could have easily been like, yeah, do that so that we can charge you more. But at the end of it, it's not about getting the money. It's about making sure the client is getting the best product and you are also doing the best job. And also, of course, timelines are very important. So we'll make sure that the client gets their product in a timely manner. With all that said, of course, I want to hear your feedback. I only do these videos for you guys. I want to hear what you think of our projects, what things you think we could tweak, what ideas you're really loving, what you're looking forward to seeing in the next videos. But because of course, I'm going to be coming back here multiple times to show you guys the progress. And I want you guys to keep up. If you're really, really interested in what we do, make sure that you subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Find Urban Interiors. We're also Find Urban Interiors on all other social media platforms. You can find us on Instagram, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and also on TikTok. Don't forget to leave your comments. I love reading through them. Share, you know, like, and don't forget to turn on your notifications on YouTube because that's the only way you'll know every single time we upload. My name is Cynthia Shoya from Find Urban Construction and Interiors, and I will see you guys in the next video.